Verb. The verb is a word that shows an action, physical or mental, or state of being of the subject in a sentence. It is the part of a sentence that tells us what the subject performs. Here are the different types of verbs in English grammar. They are action, linking, auxiliary, modal, and phrasal verbs. The action verb. Action verbs describe physical or mental actions that someone or something can do, such as run, jump, think, and laugh. For example, I work at a factory. Cats chase mice. We listen to the woman's amazing story. The linking verb. Linking verbs connect the subject of a sentence to a noun or adjective that describes it, such as is, was, were, appear, and seem. For example, Mike is a great dancer. That gold watch looks expensive. Suddenly, the mall got really crowded. The auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verbs, also called helping verbs, are used with main verbs to show tense or mood, such as be, do, and have. For example, the musician has performed in concerts all over the world. My cat is getting slow in her old age. The modal verb. Modal verbs express ability, possibility, permission, or obligation. Such as can, could, may, might, must, shall, should, and will. For example, you should bring these old things play outside the store. We may be late for the meeting, the traffic is too bad. I would go to the movies if I wasn't busy for today. The phrasal verb. Phrasal verbs are made up of a verb plus one or more particles, such as prepositions or adverbs. Like, look up, turn on, and give up. For example, the shop owner closed down his store. Tom loves to show off his baseball trophies. My mother is me to give up my bad habits. Adverb. The adverbs are used to describe verbs, adjectives, or another adverbs in the sentence, such as really, very well, badly, yesterday, often, everywhere, and etc. The different types of adverbs are adverbs of manner, adverbs of time, adverbs of place, adverbs of degree, adverbs of frequency, and conjunctive adverbs. Adverb of manner. Adverb of manner refers to how something happens or how an action is done. For example, Annie danced gracefully. The word gracefully tells how Annie danced. Adverb of time. The adverb of time states when something happens or when it is done. Example, she came yesterday. The word yesterday tells when she came. Adverb of place. The adverb of place tells something about where something happens or where something is done. Example, of course, I looked everywhere. The adverb everywhere tells where I looked. Adverb of degree. The adverb of degree states the intensity or the degree to which a specific thing happens or is done. Example, the child is amazingly talented. The adverb amazingly answers the question, to what degree is the child talented? Adverbs of frequency. The adverb of frequency is used to denote how often an action is happening. Example, I never eat out, due to the food is too expensive. The adverb never answers the question, how often I eat outside. Conjunctive adverbs. The conjunctive adverbs are used to connect one clause to another. They are also used to show sequence, contrast, cause and effect, and other relationships. For example, she went into the store, however, she didn't find anything she wanted to buy. The adverb, however, connects both clauses together. If you have any questions, please leave your comments in the comments section below. Thanks.